Hi, I'm Chris White from FruitNet Media and welcome back to the Asia Fruit Logistica Media Studio. I'm joined this afternoon by Girish Sarda of Molson Green Farms yep. uh, in India. And um, Girish, the very interesting thing about your business is that you're involved in essentially in fair trade yeah. uh, from India. Tell me yeah. a bit more about what you're doing. So the fair trade idea comes to our mind when we started working to, uh, for the mango business. Mango, mainly for the fresh fruit, is, is exporting from India to various markets. But we took over as a fresh as well as uh, the processing industry. We concentrated more on the processing industry for mangoes, for fair trade and rainforest alliance. So we are the first one who got the rainforest alliance, the MGE farms, rainforest alliance certified in grapes in India in 2017. Now we are moving forward for the rainforest alliance for the pomegranates. So we'll be the first one in India who will get the Rainforest Alliance for the pomegranates. So we are more mainly working towards a sustainable business model for grapes, pomegranate and mangoes. So we have two produ farmer producer companies in India. One is specialty for mangoes and second is for grapes and pomegranate. Now what specifically are you, d you doing to be able to get these, uh, this certification? Uh, certif fair trade or rainforest alliance? So for the fair trade, it's totally different than other so food safety compliance certification or social compliance. For fair trade, we need to have a FPO, the farmer producer company, that we register. So there are 50 growers. Those growers are managing the things on their own. And they're all small farmers? Yes, all small farmers, like uh, two hectares, yes. a small land holding. In India, anyways, we have a land holding very small. So these are all small farmers managing their own things. So there are 10 directors. One of them is a, is a chairman of the producer company and one person appointed to handle the functional or administration part will be the CEO. And, and this producer company is growing the grapes or pomegranates or mangoes and we are packing on behalf of the them. So MGE Farms is a producer company as well as the Monsoon Greeners is exporting company. So we both have a fair trade, we have a trading certificate and they have a producer certificate. And, and as, a, as a company that's marketing fair trade, are you finding that fair trade is getting a higher price in the market? Yes, we are getting some premium. We are getting a premium price for it. And that premium price is for, we can utilize for the farmer welfare or for community welfare or labor welfare, that kind of activity. So the, not a single farmer or a management will take that money to utilize for their own purpose. So it's for the farmer welfare uh, fund, you can say, that premium amount, whatever we are getting, say around uh, 12 cent euro per kg for grapes. That's quite a lot of money. Yes, so it's 12 cent euro per kg that we are getting for grapes as a premium amount per kg and that we are, we are, we are going to utilize for the farmer welfare or community, for the children, for the labor, all this stuff. Now all you're saying there you're marketing mostly to Europe, is that correct? Yes, so my 90% business is to Europe. But we're here that in the UK. And we're here in Asia, in so, Hong Kong. Yeah. So you're seeing opportunities here too. Yes, so that's why if you read my my column in the, as well in the Asia Africa magazine, uh, our focus is now towards the Asia as well. We are doing some, but pretty, pretty small business what we have in Asia. So we are trying to focus, even we are, pretty, we are focusing on fair trade if possible to do something in fair trade in Asia as well. I know it's challenging, but once the, when the consumer or a retailer will know the benefit of the fair trade or rainforest alliance, definitely they will do that business with us. And where is that in markets like Hong Kong and Singapore? Yeah, Singapore or you can say Thailand or China as well going forward. Hong Kong is basically trading. Uh, it's not that consuming market, so it's going to China or any other uh, origin. Singapore is good market, they are like uh, more on this kind of stuff, like organic or fair trade. China could be in future because more and more retailers you might have seen in Asia, Futurology as well. The best retailers two years back was Pagoda in China. Yes. So it's, it's developing. So we are supplying to Thailand, we are supplying to Malaysia, Indonesia as well, China. But it's limited volume what we have. So India has that uh, potential, that product we have, like pomegranates or grapes. Now mango is also open for a Chinese market. We are still looking for uh, pomegranate could open for China. So once we have all this product, then we can you know, diversify our uh, major market from Europe to some other uh, destination as well. Girish, that's very exciting news. Yep. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So join us for further news from the Asia Fruit Logistics Media Studio in due course. Thank you.